for a child attends school on the North Shore, you're going to want to hear this. School officials in Whitefish Bay, Shorewood, and at Nicolay are trying to identify photos of as many as 50 girls. That's right. And as 12 News investigative reporter Colleen Henry uncovers, the sexting investigation could now lead to rape charges. Two girls went to the guidance counselor here at Whitefish Bay High School and triggered an investigation into possession of child pornography, sexual exploitation, and sexual assault of a child. 12 News obtained search warrants released today that show police seized electronics from the home of a 17-year-old Whitefish Bay boy. No one answered, but police say he used popular social media apps like Snapchat and Kick to send girls sexually explicit photos of himself and asked for theirs. Police say the teen confessed, telling them they'd find the photos on his iPod or backed up on his mom's laptop. The sexting investigation turned up dozens of possible victims. One told police the boy raped her when she was 14. Hey, you can come on in. Oh, okay, great. You, young man, have to sit in the chair. 12 News went to Whitefish Bay High School, which allowed the boy to remain in class since the investigation broke in November, despite the 14 year old statement that, quote, she cannot stand to see him in school. The principal here at Whitefish Bay High School declined to talk on camera, but tells 12 News it views what happened as a police issue, not a school issue, and didn't feel it could ask the student to leave. The principal says the boy dropped out last Friday. It's not right, and that would, that would terrify me. Students and parents here told 12 News they knew nothing about the investigation or the boy's continued attendance. In Whitefish Bay, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News. Whitefish Bay police tell 12 News the teen faces felony charges in adult court. And this is the fourth case involving school aged kids and lewd pictures on cell phones. Brown Deer, Wauwatosa East, and Martin Luther High Schools have all had incidents in just the last month.